All right, so this is a replica Native American dwelling here at Kalamoki Mounds State Park here in Georgia. So I was wondering if they used the same type of materials as the Native Americans would have used here, but I can see that the roof looks like it's actually plastic. So I guess probably not. Although I guess if they used real straw or whatever the Native Americans would have used for the roof that it probably would rot away. But the tree trunks are real. And I don't know about the wall here if it's just concrete or not, but still pretty cool to see. And uh, definitely something to imagine that there would be dwellings like this all over Georgia so very many years ago. Yeah, plastic. Oh, and look over here. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. There's a big old eastern fence lizard. These things move really quickly. Let's see if I can get him on video. Oh, uh, he was camera shy. Your eastern fence lizards generally are camera shy. Oh, there's another one. That's a big old guy right there. Let's see if we can get close to him. I oh, see he's not so shy. No, he wasn't until I spoke. Those are really cool. Those eastern fence lizards. I used to catch lizards when I was a kid, and the the little green anoles and lizards like that that are around here. They were. They were easy to catch, play with, and then set free, but those eastern fence lizards never could really catch one of them. But yeah, so I thought this was pretty neat. I wanted to share it with you guys because this is a predominantly Georgia history channel and well this isn't this is reproduction history it's uh still pretty interesting to think about the cultures and the people that lived here long long before we did <laughs>